into 3D 0.8 overflows and underflows turn error. This behavior can be disabled by writing your code inside unchecked. Here I have two functions, add and subtract. If I add two large numbers, and let's say that this addition overflows, then solidity will turn error. Likewise, if y is greater than x, then this subtraction of x minus y will underflow. I'll show you how to use unchecked so that we can disable the overflow error and the underflow error. The reason why you might want to do this is to save gas. Let's start with the function add. Let's write this same exact code using unchecked. So first I'll comment this code. And then what we're going to do is type unchecked curly braces and then return x plus y. Whatever code inside the unchecked block overflows and underflows will not be checked. So this is how we will be able to save a little bit of gas. Later when we run an example, we'll compare the gas usage of having our code inside the unchecked and having our code outside of the unchecked. Okay, moving on, let's also do the same thing for the function sub. Let's write this code inside unchecked. So first I'll comment this code and then to do the exact same subtraction but disabling the underflow check, we'll do unchecked curly braces. And then inside the curly braces, we'll do return x minus y. Let's deploy this contract, then compare some gas usage. So first, I'll hit Control S, make sure that the contract compiles, and then open the deployment tab, and then deploy the contract. And then let's call the function add with one and two, and then it returns a three, and we'll get the gas usage from the transaction logs. When we call the function add using the unchecked, we used this much amount of gas. 22,103 gas. Let's also call the function sub and get the amount of gas that it used. So for subtraction, let's subtract 2 from 1. I'm going to call it sub. And then open the transaction logs. And the gas cost is 22,125. 22,125 gas. Okay, as a comparison, let's comment these code and we'll get the gas usage if we did enable the overflow and underflow checks. I'll comment out the unchecked math and then we'll just return x minus y. We'll do the same for addition, comment out the unchecked code and then just return x plus y. Hit control s to compile the contract again and let's redeploy the contract. Redeploy and then call the function again add 1 and 2, check the gas usage, 22,291. So when we enable the overflow and underflow error checks, you can see here that it used a slightly more gas than what you see over here. Let's do the same for subtraction. So we'll subtract 2 from 1, and then call sub, and then get the gas cost, and then I'll paste it here. The default gas cost for subtracting x minus y is 22,307 whereas for the unchecked math you can see here that it is slightly lower 22,125. So here we're saving about 150 gas. The code inside the unchecked block doesn't have to be single line. It can be multiple lines. So let me show you an example. So first I'll create a function. Function. What we're going to do is this function I'll name it sum of cubes and this function is going to take in two inputs u int x and u int y and as the name of the function suggests what we're going to do is multiply x by itself three times so x to the three and do the same for y take y to the three and then we're going to add the results this will be external peer returns u int what i'm going to show you inside here is an example that we can write multi-line code inside the unchecked block so type unchecked and let's first get x to the power of 3. So we're multiplying x by itself three times. I'll name it uint x3 equal to x multiplied by x multiplied by x. And then we'll do the same for the input y. uint, I'll name it y3 is equal to y multiplied by y multiplied by y again. And then we'll return the sum of x3 and y3. Return x3 plus y3. Let's try compiling this contract. So I'll hit Control S and the contract compiles. So this was an example of showing you that inside the unchecked block, you can write multi-line code. 
Although the code inside here will not check for overflows and underflows. So again, the code inside this block will save a little bit of gas.